Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Wednesday, March 30th, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 2022. The models are in and they're showing heavy snow pattern in mid-April. But the big story, possible tornado injures seven in Arkansas as severe storms forecast for the south. Keep calm. It's boom time. Seven people were injured, including two critically, when a possible tornado touched down 4 a.m. in Springdale, the city northwest of Arkansas. Mayor Doug Sprouse said in a Facebook post, here's a picture of George Elementary School in Springdale. It was damaged, well, to say the least. Damaged? 10,000 without power in northwest Arkansas. Let's take a look at the power outage U.S. map. It's actually showing... Take a look at that. Louisiana, the big winner, 53,000 without power currently, 11,000 in Arkansas, and about 12,000 in Texas. Power outages in uh, California as well. As wind chills dip under zero degrees in some parts of Massachusetts, some cities break temperature records. And this led to, well, wintry cold blast. Temps continue possible winter wintery mix for Wednesday in the Bronx. It's raining loud here. And there is central Pennsylvania winter weather advisories. So winter weather advisories in central PA is a perfect segue to the devastating and deadly crash on I-81, which happened in... All mixed together. Take a look. And it made, made the visibility down to zero. And we, oh, watch out, watch out. Oh, God. Made the visibility down to zero and we, oh watch out watch out oh god damn my car is gone absolutely incredible footage our prayers go out to all the people there let's take a quick look at the gfs model here as the rain pours down on my head it's deafening in here so Here's Wednesday, Thursday. There's going to be a little snow in the Midwest. Looks like Iowa, Wisconsin going to be picking up a dusting, as well as Nebraska, parts of northern Kansas. Some light snow in the high elevations in the Northwest. And then a few systems will be moving through in the first two weeks of April. Nothing significant, but much needed moisture in the West, is, which is the best. The big story is this uh, heavy band of severe weather that's moving its way east, uh, wreaking havoc in Arkansas. We just said that's going to be moving over uh, into Alabama and then eventually into Georgia. So heads up there, a little bit of snow behind it up in Canada, but nothing big to report on. Risk for strong tornadoes with hurricane force winds from severe thunderstorms in the south into tonight. A strong spring storm will bring regional outbreak of severe thunderstorms from the lower Mississippi Valley into parts of the Ohio and Tennessee valleys today and over portions of the central Gulf states later today into tonight. The greatest concerns are tornadoes, some strong possible EF2 plus damaging uh, tornadoes and severe gusts greater than 75 miles per hour. So if you're in any of these counties, be warned, severe weather is afoot. Seismic update, no quakes of note, but we have some titillating space weather we're about to get to. Worldwide volcano news update. We've got Fuego, Popo, Krakatau, Semaru, Ibu, Sange, Sao Jorge, and Talika. Now let's see what's going on with Sao Jorge. So Ibu is erupting and there is confirmed magma intrusion at Sao Jorge. And that update just came about 24 hours ago. Let's see if I can find it. According to the latest calculations, the Volcanological Institute of the Canary Islands estimated as much as 20 million cubic meters of magma have intruded under the island of Sao Jorge since March 19th. That is a considerable amount of magma. And Confirming what we said days ago, that this is probably going to be an eruption here. Now, the largest earthquake just occurred today there, one quake magnitude of four, 10 times larger than the largest quake, but the overall periodicity of quakes here is reducing. And that large 4.0 you can see is this big red circle. But overall, the quakes are reducing, so we're going to keep a close eye on there because it doesn't look like anything is imminent, to say the least. Now, we have some amazing footage of a volcano and some lightning. Take a look. Whoa! Watch me! <laughs> Pretty 
be cool. Now, as Earth braces for a solar storm, potential auroral displays as well coming in the next few hours. Auroras may be as visible as far south as Pennsylvania and Michigan, so get out there and look up over the next two nights. Nothing is happening on telemetry. Here's Discover Solar Wind. There's a small bump in density, but little shift in the phi angle, but nothing imminent. When we see this CME hit, is going to be a jump in all of the telemetry all at once. And as we're waiting for the storm, holy mackerel, goes X-ray flux. A few hours ago, one, two, three hours ago, we had an X-flare, X1.3 kicking off. It's just dropped down now into C range hours later. So a low-level X-rare, but the most significant flare from this sunspot group in totality. There's still some light D region absorption here, which is going to be radio blackout. It is moving out to the Pacific currently, but there you can see that X 1.3 flare. So AR2975 finally gives a strong solar flare. An X 1.3 event just peaked at 1737 UTC, a type 2 radio emission with an estimated velocity of 1424 kilometers per second was detected. Because AR2975 is still on a decent earth facing position, a coronal mass ejection will likely be directed our way. So the first update here is a coronal mass ejection is seen in this new image, which there is no image. So let's see. Oh, yeah, let's click on it. Courtesy of Stereo Head Core 2. There it is. Doesn't look a little halo. It looks a little bit out to the right there, but Core 2 ahead could be left of the earth, and this could be directly at us. So. Wait for our update when we get to the, it's not up here on Iswa's streamer yet. So, and let me just refresh this to make sure they don't have any new data. Nope. So no new data coming in yet, but we're going to keep a close eye on that for you. Uh -oh. So let's come over here to spaceweather.com and see what they have to say. Earth orbiting satellites just detected an X flare. Here it is from uh, an excellent picture here. Look at that. This is from NASA Solar Dynamics Observatory as they recorded the flare in progress. So quite beautiful. Now, a CME is almost certainly emerging from the blast site. We just confirmed that. Soho coronagraphs have not yet detected the cloud, but they ha but Core 2 has. So yes, they have. But there is strong circumstantial evidence. So CME probably headed our way. We'll have better details in just a few hours. So stay tuned for more boom. And go check out the video on the x -Flare itself if you like. But more importantly, go watch the David Dubine interview from last night. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boo. Mm -hmm.